10.6 billion shilling supplementary budget request came to light in the Auditor's General's report of 2021. According to the report, it was an illegal request by the Minister of Land, Housing and Urban Planning, which was under Minister Betty Kami of the End User, who was Uganda Land Commission. When I came to the office, actually found a lot. And I was saying, but this country, I, I was saying myself, what's going on? There are so many letters from the president dating decades. The money in question is said to have been released as a supplementary budget to compensate beneficiaries of Lusanja land, Ndeba Church and other beneficiaries, but it is said that the money was instead paid to ghost beneficiaries. Today, while appearing before Kosasi Committee, which is chaired by the Nakao West MP Joel Senyonyi, the Minister of Finance, Planning and Economic Development, Matia Kasaija, revealed that he was poorly advised by the technical officers in the ministry. Yes, I can be accused of, of negligence. I will accept that. But, but, going by the amount of work, one has got to th go through, you must depend on technical officers. That's why I should re requesting this committee, if you want to get bottom of the problem, a task all those technical officers. You ask them, did you guide the minister properly? Why did you take a fight to him to sign? When you knew very well, there was something wrong. Members of the committee also questioned Kasaija why he authorized the payment of the 10.6 billion contrary to the procedure. Of us who actually were up country on a heritage committee, the heritage facilities are rotting completely, and you append a signature to do with 10.6 billion. 10.6 billion. Then you say, I'm sorry, I apologize, it was wrong. Do you really feel overwhelmed by the work in the Ministry of Finance? And if so, isn't it okay for you to resign? Who should be responsible to make sure that this man has actually come back? It's not enough to say sorry. Sir, you have said sorry very many times. Kasaija, who looked puzzled, asked the committee, urging them to summon the then permanent secretary, Keith Muhakanizi, who was the accounting officer. To get to the bottom of this matter, I think the permanent secretary then, he's still around, you should summon him. You should summon the accountant because the accountant is the one who eventually sees everything through before money is released. Kasaija also denied to have seen the presidential directive to approve the request of the supplementary budget, as alleged by the then Minister of Lands, Betty Kamia. I think uh, we should ask Honorable Betty Kamia to give us a copy from the president, because I don't have that copy. I shall need your cooperation in this, so that ultimately, ultimately, Taxpayers' money gets to be used the right way. I imagine it should be your interest too, because Absolutely. you're the one whom everybody presses. Sarah Nakandi, CTV, Pium Edition. The, the